lake is spring fed so a lot of people asked us um, how how does it do when the noose gets polluted and it's not tied in with the noose at all and so if we have if the water level comes up and it spills over the dam then it goes down into the noose but no water from the noose ever comes back up so it's completely spring fed we get it tested uh, before we allow anybody to go swimming in it and it usually comes back cleaner than our drinking water so it's a very clean lake yes so is this a man so this is a man-made so the lake. lake the lake is man-made the water source is natural so if it hadn't been dug out and dammed up we would still have a creek running through mm -hmm. um, but we wouldn't have the pool so yes the lake itself is man-made um, the park was opened in 1945 the lake was opened in 1955 so it took about 10 years for them to come up with the lake um, the lake does have a high iron content to it um, because the spring comes up through an iron deposit and the only thing it means is that there are no fish in the lake because the uh, acidity of it will not support fish reproduction so no fish can survive in the swim lake which is really nice for people who don't like fishes swimming around them while they're in there. Um, it's, yeah, it's completely safe for us and for snakes and turtles and frogs um, and salamanders. You'll find all of those around, just no fish. So, um, and when we walk past, uh, when we continue on, we're going to walk past the boathouse so you guys can take a look in where all of our, our boats live. We've got the red canoes, which will hold two people. The stand-up paddle boards, um, those are the longer flat blue ones. Um, they're obviously one person. The green kayaks are one person. And then the pedal boats can hold four people. The side closest to us would be our shallow end where we let anybody swim. We also put life jackets out for those who aren't comfortable um, and little kids, they can borrow life jackets and go out in there. Um, and then the deep section, the deepest it gets is about 15 feet out by the dive tower. Um, and people do have to take a swim test on that and it's just to swim from one end to the other just to make sure that they're not going to sink when they get out there. Uh, we keep it guarded while it's open uh, in the summertime. And then we have the concession stand here too, where people can come and um, check in to, and pay to go swim. It's ADA compliant. It's going to have three restrooms. Um, so instead of just having a men's and a women's, it's also going to have a family shower room. Um, and it's going to have a its own parking lot and a paved route to get up to it. So we're just waiting for that construction to get finished up before we can open it back up. Um, but we do have, I believe it's 12 full hookup sites. So full electricity and um, water hookup and sewer for the uh, RVs and trailers. And then we have the um, tent sites, which don't have electricity. And then we have three cabins. Um, the cabins are two rooms. They have a double bed in the front and then two bunk beds in the back. So as long as you like all the people you're with, you can get six <laughs> people in there. Um, they do have heating. They do have air conditioning. Um, and then they also have chairs you can sit on the little porch, um, fire ring, and a picnic table as well. So, and we rent them. Um, the prices vary with season. So the summer season, um, they're a little bit more than they are in the winter time. Um, I think as long as the prices haven't changed um, <laughs> since it's been closed for a little while. Summer season, they're typically $55 a night. And then in the, in the winter time, they're like $35 a night. So still cheaper than a hotel. Mm -hmm. We do also uh, lock the front gates at, at night, even if we do have campers in. Um, all the campers are given a emergency on-call number, so should they need to leave the park if they're uh, if they get sick 
or um, we have had people who are like, my tent is leaking and it's freezing and I'm miserable. Um, so they can get out, um, they call whoever's on call and we'll come and let them out of the park. Um, but the idea behind that is we don't have random people just cruising through the park. Um, we don't have them driving around people's campsites, hitting them with the high beams while they're trying to enjoy it as well. I'm summer season, we're open till nine. Right now, um, we're open till eight, and then in the winter time, it closes at six. Okay. So it has a lot to do with when the park yeah. gets dark. Mm -hmm. um, we do have the primitive group campsites that are very popular with the Boy Scouts. They, when I say primitive, they have a shared water spigot between all four sites. Um, they have a picnic table, a campfire ring, and then a pit toilet. And that's about all they got. Um, but we can put 35 people on one site, so a lot of the Boy Scouts, when they're learning their survival things anyway, they really enjoy it. Um, and that gate does not get locked at night, so they can come and go as they please. Spectacular Magazine we on the scene.